The feedback on my first episode of Action Figure History was mostly hugely positive, and because of that I've decided to continue this as a series. Today we'll be looking at AJ Styles, and as I said in my Jeff Hardy video, exact release dates are tough to find, and some database sources aren't 100% accurate. So once again, with this in mind, welcome to the history of AJ Styles action figures. In 2005, AJ Styles was a part of the growing TNA organization, who had Toy Biz slash Marvel Toys as their action figure license at this time. AJ would receive three figures from the company in this year, and while it's tough to see the exact order of figures, I'm going to assume that AJ's first was the Series 1 Impact figure, as the others were in Series 3 Impact, which obviously came after that, and a set that came with the TNA 6 sided ring, which I'm guessing was released after some figures were already out, but I can't confirm that. AJ would then apparently get one figure in both 2006 and 2007. The 2006 one would again be as part of a set alongside a ring this time with the X Division title also. The 2007 figure would be in a Sacrifice 2 pack along with Samoa Joe. This would be AJ's last Toy Biz figure as the company, which was now known as Marvel Toys, shut down due to bankruptcy. For some reason I like these figures, I'm honestly not sure why as they barely look anything like AJ, and without his easily identifiable attire I think most people would struggle to tell who it is. TNA wouldn't pick up another action figure company until 2010, and it was then that AJ would get his next figure. Jax picked up the license for TNA figures, and would release their first AJ Styles figure as part of their Deluxe Impact Series 1. AJ would also be part of Deluxe Impact Series 2, with a figure that is hard for me to see without thinking of the old days of NLW. AJ would also be part of two of the Cross the Line series, first alongside Jeff Jarrett in Series 2, and secondly in Series 3 alongside Jeff Hardy. But this figure appears to be the exact same as his Deluxe Impact Series 2 figure. Now, still in 2010, and we have some figures that I never knew existed. First off, Jax made a TNA version of the WWE Microaggression figures with a Micro Impact line, and AJ was part of Wave 1, along with Jeff Jarrett and Mick Foley. Jax also seemed to make a TNA alternative to the WWE Backlash series, a 5 point of articulation series of figures with their TNA Genesis series. AJ would get a solo figure and was part of a 4 pack alongside Kurt Angle, Sting and Suicide. There would be no AJ figures in 2011, but they would return in 2012 with AJ being in Deluxe Impact Series 8, and he would then receive his final TNA figure in 2013 as part of Deluxe Impact Series 11. AJ had let his hair start growing at this point, as is clearly shown on the action figure packaging, but Jax clearly couldn't be bothered sculpting a new haircut for him, and instead just used the same head that they'd used for every AJ figure. You can't really blame Jax here, as they weren't the only TNA connection making no effort at this time. Now the main source of info I use for these lists is Figure Realm, as they have the most well laid out lists of figures of specific people that I can find. However, I believe anyone can edit info for their databases, and this, of course, leads to some mistakes. Some of these mistakes I am able to catch, and others I am not. However, for AJ Styles, I believe I caught a mistake. The list claims that the two figures toy company figures of AJ were released in 2017, which I don't believe is true. I believe these figures were released earlier. I'm not 100% sure on this and struggle to find anything to confirm it, but AJ would join the WWE in 2016, and I don't think they would allow other companies to sell figures of their contracted superstars. However, maybe I'm wrong, or maybe there's a loophole. Anyway, back to the figures. And as I said, AJ got two figures from Figures Toy Company, both as part of their Rising Stars of Wrestling line. These figures look exactly like Jack's Ruthless Aggression figures, so I don't know if the company bought the molds from Jack's or whatever, I don't know the rules of any of that kind of stuff, but to me, these figures are horrible. I never like to fully bash anyone's work, but they just look so awkward to me, and hardly have any resemblance to AJ Styles. So as I said, AJ made his way to WWE in 2016, entering at number 3 in the Royal Rumble. He would get his first WWE figure that same year, and I believe his first was the Series 68 B basic figure. Again, I can't find confirmation on this, but this was the first I remember seeing reviews and pictures of. The list once again gets messed up here claiming that a WrestleMania 33 figure was released in 2015, which simply isn't possible. 
So next I will show you the Elite version of the Series 68 Basic. This one was part of Elite Series 47A. This one boasts first time in the line on the box, so I can finally be pretty sure in saying this was his first. On to 2017 now, and AJ would get a fair few figures in these more recent years. He got Basic Figure in Basic Series 73, Series 76, and Series 78, as well as in Battle Pack Series 45, alongside Roman Reigns. As well as these, he would get a Basic in a Fan Pack with a replica pair of his gloves, and another Basic in a WrestleMania 34 series. More figures in 2017 as he would get a WWE Zombies figure as part of Series 2 and two Elite figures as part of Series 51 and in a WrestleMania 33 Spotlight series. Finally for 2017, a company called Jada Toys released two AJ figures in their Nano Metal Figs line. First a basic figure, then secondly in a 20 pack box set. These figures were small die cast metal statues. On to 2018 now, and AJ would continue to get loads of figures. He would get 4 basic figures in series 82, series 85, series 87, and finally in a WrestleMania 35 2 pack with Shinsuke Nakamura. AJ would also get 4 elite figures in 2018. He was part of series 56, series 61, a survivor series line, and a 2018 picks line. I feel these figures this year were where Mattel really started to nail AJ's head scans. Before this they all looked a little bit mousy to me, but I feel they really captured him in these. AJ would get two other figures in 2018, one Loyal Subjects figure, which was a cartoony style figure, and one retro figure, the Hasbro style figures, in Series 3. On to 2019 and the figure train continues with 5 basic figures in series 95, series 97, series 101 and in battle packs series 59 along with Jinder Mahal and series 61 alongside Daniel Bryan. He would also get 2 elite figures in series 66 and the top picks 2019 series. AJ would get 2 more figures in 2019, first being a Reckon series figure a series similar to the older Flex Force figures, the more play based figures, and lastly he got a hero collector figure which was essentially a collectible statue. The piles of AJ figures would continue into 2020 and so far AJ has had 4 basic figures being part of series 103, series 108 and battle pack series 64 with Daniel Bryan as well as battle pack series 67 with Stone Cold. He has also had 3 Elite figures in Series 74, Series 77 and as a 2 pack with Finn Balor. Finally AJ got a Series 1 Beast Mode figure which seems to be a blind bag type of figure but I'm not quite sure. Couple more figures worth mentioning before ending, like in my Jeff Hardy video, I'm not sure when these figures were released exactly. AJ had a couple of 12 inch figures and finally a Legends of the Ring TNA Deluxe figure. And that about does it for the history of AJ Styles figures. This was a tough one to research but fun all the same. AJ has had a lot of great Jax figures and recently his Mattel ones have been knocking out of the park. There's certainly not as much variety with AJ as there was with Jeff Hardy but look at the two of them. Jeff has a new attire damn near every match whereas AJ will wear mostly the same thing from week to week. Changing for pay per views and maybe shuffling the colours around a little each month. This certainly doesn't make his figures any less pleasing to look at however nor does it make me want them any less. My goal is to one day have at least all his deluxe figures and all his elite figures. I hope you guys enjoyed this look at the history of AJ Styles action figures. Let me know who you'd like to see me cover in the future. That does it for now. Bye bye.